18 isomers of octane. I got your back. Octane is C8H18, and N octane, or the regular normal kind of octane, is just eight carbons all stuck together in a row. I'm going to use these ball and stick diagrams. Each endpoint and bend is a carbon itself. So let's start making some isomers. The way I like to make isomers, if I'm asked, is to success or consecutively break off larger and larger chunks and then reattach them to the backbone that's left. For example, I'm going to break off one carbon from the end here. That leaves me with a chain of seven. And where can I reattach that one carbon that I broke off? I can't attach it to the ends because then I'm just back to this original molecule. But I can jam it on the second one. And I can also jam it on the third one. And I can also jam it on the fourth one. I can't put it on the fifth one because that's the exact same as this molecule. And I can't jam it on the sixth one because that's the exact same as this molecule, just oriented differently. So when it comes to breaking off single carbons, this is it. We got two methyl heptane, three methyl heptane, four methyl heptane. Pretty sweet. Let's break off two carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six carbons left. How can I reattach two methyl groups to this? Well, I'm going to put one on the second one and then put the second methyl group on to each successive carbon. So maybe I can attach both of them to the same one here. So it's 2,2-dimethylhexane. Again, I'm going to start with that. Maybe I can attach it here. Maybe I can attach it here. Maybe I can attach it here. I can't attach it to the end because then, again, I've made a heptane instead of a hexane because I've extended the end of the chain and I've already taken care of all the heptanes, we agreed. But I'm not done here. I could have just as easily attached the first one to the third carbon. And I've already taken care of this combination. See, I already have the 2-3 version. I've already taken care of this combination. But I haven't done them both to the same third carbon. And I also haven't done third from the side and fourth from the side as well. These are all the hexanes that you can possibly make. Oh wait, no it's not. Because I could have just as easily attached those same two carbons in a chain. I can't believe I almost forgot about that. Rather than breaking up those two carbons that I chopped off as two methyl groups, I could have done an ethyl group as well. This is the only place I can put it though. If I put it here, I extend my chain. If I put it here, I extend my chain. And if I put it here, it's the exact same molecule as this. So that's it. Now let's try breaking off three carbons. One, two, three. That leaves me with a pentane. Let's reattach those as methyl groups. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then actually that's it for two, two dimethyl pentanes. But I could have just as easily attached both of them to this one. Attach the third one there. Oh, actually, I can't attach another one here because then all of a sudden it's the same as this molecule. What else can I do here? I can attach one methyl to each of them. And the other thing I can do is attach one as an ethyl and two, or sorry, one as a methyl and two as an ethyl. Now I can't attach an ethyl group here because that extends my chain, but I can put a methyl here and then an ethyl here. This is still six or eight carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a pentane, but I've attached a methyl to the second one and an ethyl to the third one. Pretty sweet. How many of these do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There are two more isomers that we need to figure out here. One thing that I haven't considered yet is the same pentane, but attaching the methyl and the ethyl to the same center carbon. That's one of the trickier ones to get. And actually, the last one is what I get when I, when I cut four carbons off of here. We're going to just keep going. And I can't extend, I can't add ethyls to this anywhere because that'll extend my chain. 
But what I can do is attach two methyls here and two methyls here. And that's probably the toughest one to get. It's the one that I always forget myself. But here we go. 4, 8, uh, 16, 18 isomers of octane. And the way that I created them was successfully chopping off larger and larger chunks of the main chain and reattaching them in creative ways. Your biggest issue here might be accidentally drawing two molecules that are the exact same, but they don't look exactly the same. Your best bet for that is to try to go and name every single one of these. And if you come up with two of the same name, that's how you know that they're different. All right, best of luck to you when you're isomerizing octane.